I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. God bless you, everybody. Hope y'all are still doing well. I want to talk about the Great Commission for a moment. The Great Commission. And I know a lot of y'all are familiar with this in the Bible. Y'all already know what it means. But it might be somebody that don't know what the Great Commission is. And I want to talk about what Jesus commanded after his death on the cross. And let the church say amen. We know about what's rolled in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can see this in so many ways in every one of those Gospels and how they talked about the resurrection, the cross. And if you're not teaching the cross, if you're not teaching repentance, forgiveness, salvation, the love of Jesus, I'm kind of starting to wonder about a lot of these preachers. See, this is why I can get on YouTube and teach. Or when I'm not on camera, I can teach. And I'm not a bishop. I'm not a pastor. I'm no kind of prophet. I'm none of that. I'm a disciple. I'm a child of God. I am a follower. I am a servant. And I'm proud. And I'm bold. And I have no problem because I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Let's talk about this great commission for a moment. After Jesus' death on the cross, he was buried and he rose again in what? Three days. But before he ascended into heaven, he went to his disciples and gave them some, some strong instructions, didn't he? Mm. The great commission, what he commanded. And Jesus went to them and told them, he said, I got all authority in heaven and on earth. He said, it has been given to me. And he told the disciples, this is what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to go and make disciples of all nations. I didn't say just your neighborhood. I didn't just say a few nations, but all nations. And he says, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything as I have commanded you to do. And he said, I will always be with you, even until the end of age. Or some say end of time. But when you look at what Jesus said, these instructions was to go and make disciples of all nations. See, this is why people need to understand a pastor is not the only one that can spread the word and that a deacon can spread the word. A child of God can spread the word. He says, teaching them the word. Mm. Good God Almighty. See, when you look at those strong words Jesus used, he was commanding them. Mm. When you see words like go, when you see words like teach, forgive, this is what I need you to do. That's in order. That's why serving God is not an opportunity. It's an obligation. And when you give your life over to God, you should start following God. You, you should start changing a lot of things that you used to do. But at the same time, you should be teaching others and reaching out. He commanded his disciples. So what am I giving that in this video also that God has worked for us to do, brothers and sisters? I know some of y'all done got saved and y'all think y'all don't have to do nothing else because you go to church. Well, I'm saved now. I'm sitting in the church. I'm good with the Lord. We good. But really, are you all that good with the Lord? Are you really doing what he's saying? Because when he instructs us to do something, we should be doing it. That's why I can listen at many men. Many men don't have a pastor behind his name, bishop, evangelist. As he said, brother, I didn't go to Colgate. He didn't go to Colgate University. He don't have none of those titles, but when I look at many men, I see a disciple. When I look at PP drawings, I see a disciple. I see a servant. I see a true follower of God. When I look at Sister Lady D, I see a servant. I see a follower. When I look at Sister Maria on camera, when I see all of y'all teaching and spreading the word, y'all doing what Jesus commanded. And I think a lot of us done misunderstood this in the Bible because we want the preacher to do everything. 
And if you are not studying to show yourself approved, as Paul told Timothy, I don't know what else to tell you. So after his death on the cross, when he was buried and rose again on that third day, he gave them disciples. He told them when they met up in Galilee that, I got something for y'all to do. Y'all must carry it on. That's why the Bible say this gospel must be preached. Now, we, we know that there's a whole lot of gospels out here right now. Mm. Some people making up their own doctrines, and they got a lot of people following them. And they're going to follow each other right on into hell. So with that being said, may God bless you, and may God keep you. Go therefore, teach. Mm. That's powerful. He said, go and make disciples of all nations. Now, last time I checked, that's a lot of people. All nations, that let me know it's going to be people from all over different colors. It don't matter what color they are, male or female. He said, make disciples. And that simply means spread my word. But we too busy fussing and fighting with each other. God bless you and God keep you. Let the church say amen. Peace.